All right, in this video, we're going to attach our digital camera to the Bitsy Bot. The first thing is we're going to use our machine screw, put it through the Lexan in the hole that we drilled, and tighten the nut down on it. And then we're going to grab a needle nose pliers and our screwdriver. We're going to make sure that that uh, nut is very tight against the uh, Lexan there. So we're going to grab some of our other screws and, and feed them through the, uh, the various holes, making sure that we use the, the right holes that we've already drilled. And we'll continue to uh, tighten those screws down to ensure that we have a, a good mounting place for our digital camera. So you can see all four of the screws are in place here. Now we don't want the camera to sit flush on the Lexan. We want, to sit, we want it to sit a little off of the Lexan and that's for two reasons. One of them is that we need to be able to connect to the USB on the camera and the other is that the camera has some components like a screen on the back that we don't want to be on the Lexan. So we're just using nuts so that we can go down. We go down about a quarter of an inch or uh, 200 thousandths roughly and we'll put the uh, those those nuts that are on the screw posts will hold the camera uh, a printed circuit board off of the Lexan so the camera has a screen on the back that's usually held in place by housing but we don't have that so we're gonna hold it in place now with a piece of tape and that'll keep it from dropping down while we uh, install the camera and so we're just gonna line that tape up and then trim off the excess with our break off blade knife so now we're going to see if we can, these are the control wires, and we're just sort of winding them together a little bit to get them out of the way so we can see if our camera will fit. And it turns out that it, it, it's bumping up against the uh, plastic frame, the styrene frame of the uh, Bitsy there. So we're going to trim just a little bit of the printed circuit board. And when we do this, we need to make sure that we don't cut any traces, which are the wires on the printed circuit board. So we, we were able to get it trimmed just a little bit, and we're trying to uh, fit the uh, printed circuit board in place. So if you, if you do this uh, for yours, make sure you take the Arduino off first uh, because it'll make it a lot easier to route your wires. So I, I didn't do that. I, I thought, oh, I can just snake the wires under the Arduino, but it ended up taking a long time. And uh, you can see it's, a, it's kind of a lot of effort to sort of snake the wires in and out. And these particular wires that we used are magnet wires. So they have a, they're very thin and, um, they can get bent very easily and, and so it's kind of a pain to, to thread them underneath the Arduino. It takes a lot less time to just take the uh, bolts or the nuts I should say on the Arduino off and lift the Arduino up so that you can route the wires that way. Uh, and I end up doing that later in another video but in this one I, <laughs> I took the long route, route which wasn't necessarily the best one but I fixed it in the next one. So, so the camera is in place now and now we're going to uh, attach the, the nuts that hold the camera down. So uh, after we've got it tightened down with our uh, finger, we're going to use the needle nose pliers and we'll tighten it the rest of the way down. It's important that you're really careful when doing this because if you slip, you can knock off board components like surface mount resistors or, or damage one of the, uh, the other components on the board. So want to take that really slow. So that's how you attach the digital camera. We'll connect it to the Arduino in one of the upcoming videos.